So when I started to create vocalize, I have put so many elements of myself into the music. First of all, my identity as a Malaysian, a Malaysian Chinese, the weather of Malaysia, and my favorite composers such as Mahler, because Mahler, he has a symphony where one of the movements, a soprano, is singing the solo part that was written in German. So I have not started learning it yet. So I'm going to do my one first. And La Mer. La Mer is one of my favorite orchestral pieces because Debussy, which is the composer of La Mer, he imitated how the sea actually looks like in sound. And I also have been teaching my students many musical pieces and sometimes the music is stuck in my head and I use some of the elements. Another very big reason of writing the vocalize is actually my background as a student conductor. Sometimes when I sing, I actually sing the sound that I conduct myself. That is what happened in vocalize. In the conducting training course, I learned to sing the solfege of the orchestra pieces of different instruments and I learned so much, especially recently from Beethoven and Mozart. They are just genius. They make me confused about the repetition and their variation in the melodies and in different sections and I kind of understand what they're doing and I try to put whatever I understand into vocalize because it is fun and I think it's a great chance to confuse the coming generation or maybe next time my students who are going to learn this piece and but before I manage to confuse them I kill myself first because I am the one who record the very first demo and I find it confusing and recently I learned Beethoven number no. five Movement number one, if you don't know, is the ta da 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 song. Okay, it's not song, it's a movement. Okay, so that is where the fermata comes from in the first three bars. And because of the conducting training background, that's why you hear the different composers that I mentioned just now. What I did during my very first draft of my, it's not even a draft, it's just improvisation. Uh, that was because I watched a video by a percussion teacher. So he teaches something like ah or oh, ah or oh, something like that. I can't really remember it, but the thing is ah or oh, 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 ah or oh. and then you can create variation from this very basic thing. And then I started to sing, of course, is sing my own melody well, without thinking of our hour, but I used the same concept and I started with the What's next? I don't know, maybe just repeat. something new so what i am singing here is the very very first version regarding the vocal technique i was just playing with my voice and the note d is in our lower register so i play with my chest voice and play with my vibrato <laughs> Vocal technique is the first layer when I create vocalize. And you know what? E is my favorite, favorite vowel. 
In the next section, I'm going to analyze a little bit about what I wrote in the vocalize and what sound you can expect and what is the story behind the music. So I'll see you in the next video.